This video is sponsored by Y Food. I'm Dave. I'm Steve. I'm Dad. And I'm Son. Welcome to another episode of DJ Projects, episode 78. Good morning. It is a Monday morning and it is a cold one. I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone for supporting us on the last video that just went out. Sorry it was cut a little bit short. I don't know what happened there. YouTube messed up. Me and Steve spoke about it this morning, but he sorted it out now. What am I doing? Dropping bags off. Two grey slate, one road stone. And it's for subscriber as well. So thank you very much for using our services. Why I've got you, I'd like to set a light goal. I'm saying 3,500 likes. Come on guys, 3,500 likes in the first 12 hours. You can do it for us. And what am I doing today? I am on a big red. Stevie's on quoting. We've got fencing galore this week. And I've got to have a little play with my new toy. So yeah, let's get back in the cab. Let's get warm and on to next. So we're now back in the yard. Caught on a roadstone and a gravel way for JVM. So let's get this on the back. There we have it, that's our four ton on, now let's get gone. So there we have it, just dropped stone down there, got a full load, we just grabbed from around here. I've had to pull on the drive, but luckily they're doing the drive because we don't know who that car is there. So there's two schools, there's one over there, and one at the side of us there, so I believe someone's gone to school and left the car there. But we've got it done, next time you see it, back in the yard. Getting excited, aren't I? I've got a bag to pick up, <laughs> I'm gaddling. And I've just come from there, so I'll find out where this is and we're going to head over. So there's that bag we missed. Next time you see me, I'll be back in the yard, I promise. So I'm back in the yard. There's Big Red. And what am I in? I'm in here. I'm waiting for Mrs. D&J. We're going to go and see something. I've seen it on Marketplace. Don't know if it's going to be any good, but we've been after one for a little while. So we're going to go and have a look, me and Mrs. D&J are, and see how good it is. And if it is decent, we'll show you. If not, who knows? I might show you anyway. All right. So next time we see us, we'll be looking at something interesting. So hello guys. Hope you're all doing well this fine Monday. Or we're doing well on this fine Monday, because I guess you'll be watching this on Sunday. We're back. Don't know what happened with the video last Sunday. But now nah, we're back. I said I'd be back on Monday. I think I actually said that at the footage that you've missed. But you have, hopefully you've saw that on Wednesday. If not, it starts around about 37 minutes on the Wednesday video. So if you've not watched it, go back and watch it because then you'll get to see this pretty much complete why am i back you may ask just screwed that panel in like i said i was going to do also took some panels off the grass as you can see right there yeah another one fully done complete finito transformed the garden most definitely what back to the yard for me now got these panels all strapped up inside i've got one panel on the roof as well that's all strapped up oh god look at it guys every time we come round here he's chucking it down where's the sun where is the sun i know it's that time of the year but he's just chucking it down all the time here bloody hell been wet enough at this garden ah i love it we love this game though guys that's why we're here we could not be pen pushers as they call it in an office couldn't do it i think i would actually go a bit mad so we've only got ourselves to blame because this is the occupation i guess we all chose but yes back to the yard 
it's just gone one o'clock. I believe England have just kicked off. I do believe England have just kicked off. Will you be watching the World Cup this year? Doesn't really feel like the World Cup for me. I know it's in Qatar. It just seems a bit strange. It's, uh, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan right now of the World Cup. Just not getting that buzz. Maybe I'll get it when I've watched my first game. Definitely ain't today, because at one o'clock I have, I've got stuff to be doing. I've actually got to go to the tip in big red, tip that off, and I know Dad's going somewhere. So let's go and find out where Dad is off to. As mentioned earlier, this video is sponsored by Y Food. A ready to drink complete meal. And this is one of my personal favorites, peach lasse. And it's got 500 calories. It's lactose free, gluten free, high in fiber and plenty of protein. And there's no added sugar. And that's good for me because I'm on a diet. And let's not forget this bad boy is packed with 26 vitamins and minerals. How good's that? If you want to be like the boys and girls at DJ Project, click the link in the description below and go and grab yourself one of these extra cool Y Foods. Also guys, make sure you use the code that will be in the link because you're going to save yourself some pennies. Don't go and spend money that you don't have to. Your boys and girls at D&J are trying to save you some money. So click the link, get that taster pack and enjoy some of this boss stuff right here. 500 calories, Y Food. I'd like to say a massive thank you for Y Food for sponsoring this video. Back to the video, here we go. So Spencer Black, thank you very much. You've sent in, I know exactly what these are. These are cutting banding and plastic. You know, I had the plastic on the artificial grass. So you run that across and it cuts it. I'm gonna give one to every lad. I'm gonna leave one on the panel master because we we'll always use scissors on the panel master. And we've got this big one here, but it's gonna be ideal for cutting the banding. So Spencer Black, thank you very much. That was much appreciated. And yeah, the other thing I can't really show you because it's more, it's a personal message to me which we're, I'm gonna sort out with later. So yeah, these I can, the other one I can't. But yeah, thank you very much, Spencer Black. Well, it's getting dark. Just been doing a load of paperwork, sorting out grabs for next week, uh, sorting out a little thing we've bought. But yeah, it's haircut time. So next time you see me, I'll make me haircut. Yeah, boy, gonna get a fresh trim. It's looking nice and fresh. Fever's in next, He's keeping the tash. Yeah, remember what, this is uh, probably the last time that this tash will be left. So if you do want to donate to the GoFundMe, it is in the link down below. I haven't we've got two more videos yet. I think you want to keep the tash. <laughs> Leave no, a comment down so below. It's, it's, it's the last day cut, I guess, because it's two weeks, every two weeks. So we're going to be out in November then, guys. So next time yeah. I'm here, it's probably going to be gone. So show him some love. Yes. Hit him up on the GoFundMe, it's for a great cause. Well, that said, it's another day at d and &J. You saying this, see? <laughs> it's in the morning. It's in the morning. So, good morning, guys. Yes, the American police officer is back, and he's back with a bang. Just had Angela donate to the go for me, so thank you very much, Angela. We do appreciate that. When it comes to the end of the month, we'll see how much money we've raised. I think we're about 500 quid at the moment, which is amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. People sending the hard earned money. Thank you so much. Last time I see a train going by. But thank you so much, guys, for supporting the cause. It does not go unnoticed. I want you to know that, guys. Really, really do appreciate all of the support that you're showing toward mental health side of things, suicide prevention, testicular and prostate cancer. I just want to say thank you, guys. But yes, I've gone shorter with the hair as well. It was too much of a mop. But this tash, I might be keeping this. But it's going to be a busy one today, guys. It's going to be a busy one today. The lads smashing it in the air as always. I think they're on mixing today, just getting the last of the post done. Oh, look at this. That's not good, is it? I think the landlords are going to have to come out, inspect that and have a look and see that. Sort of need that fixing if we can. Yeah, so who's watched Wednesday's video? With this racking. Jamie and Jordan, I think are sorting it out today. They're going to be getting it in the right place. It's Chelsea's birthday today. She is 27. So I want to see in the comments section down below, happy birthday, Chelsea. I want to see at least 100 comments of happy birthday, Chelsea. Right there, look. 
Here we are, all loaded. Got these concrete screws that we are going to be using today. These beauties. Dad, can you see him? I'm not sure you can see him. He's just there, look, sorting out Jordan's battery like he was on Wednesday. He's going to be filming today as well, so we'll catch up with Dad a little later. Hugo is there, just doing his daily wee up against that wall. Come on, mate. Hello. Hello. So he's got a day of relaxing there. Obviously, Mum's here, about to go to start. Yeah, me and Asna. I think we'll go get a hot drink, a Costa or something, because it's freezing, my wind is down, that's not helped, and we need a drink to kickstart our day. So it was Ant's turn for the coffee today, guys, and it ended up being a Griggs. A Costa. This is the job today. Let me just zoom in for you. Right, get above those railings. Can you see how the panels have gone, guys? They used to actually be there. I think the customers took them out. And then right in the centre there, there's going to be a gate. The driveway gates are staying. This metal post is staying. Oh. <laughs> I better not film the neighbour. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what, we'll go over there and we'll explain in person. So this is it. Panel replacements. We'll, uh, we'll try and slide a panel in there. I got loads of music. What about you? How much you got? You go inside now. Take yours in. Well, I'm not sure about that, you know. Just take, you got that tape? Doesn't look like we've been lucky today. Get it with this now. How about you with it? Yeah. That needs to be made custom. So this panel needs to be made custom. Let me just have a little measure up. I had panels in last time. Let me show you. Just over there, look. So I'm guessing they were smaller panels, but it's no bigger. We'll get Jamie to make some fresh ones. Need Jamie to make a gate and a panel over there anyway, and a panel here, because it's not as big. So it's no, it's no bigger. It's only three custom panels, but yeah, at least we can get it in for now and actually see what we're working with. So then guys, this, this is the plan. So we've got a timber onto the wall, just going to use some um, feverage to cloak it back because sometimes you have houses where they kick off like this and wrap around. See how that kicks off the wall? So we've had to attach to that side, then we'll cloak this side. It's only having a panel on, it's not like it's having a gate on or anything like that. So we're okay with that. Two concrete screws, so if it ever needs to be taken out so they can do stuff with this drainage pipe, which is now a garden, can do. But this is going to have a panel panel these are 44 and a half inches tall as well rather than the four foot so panel 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 put a timber on the edge there onto the metal so there's going to be a panel that lines up to those two right there and then there's going to be a panel just there and this panel is going to be a slope off from there to there so as you look at the garden from over here it's going to be a panel that goes up slope to that not as tall as the metal because the panel would never be that tall because it was too tall for that post there. Always got to go to your lowest post when you're taking a measurement for a panel, guys. Bear that in mind. So this will go up, slope, straight, little drop, little drop, little drop. There's going to be a gate here. I said to Jamie when I was signing out the tools. No, I shouldn't need a steel saw. should be absolutely fine. I need a steel saw to cut that and that. Thankfully, we're only around the corner from the yard. So... Once I've cut that and that, I'm going to put a timber on the post here. And I'm going to put a timber on this post here. Because if you see, look, it sort of lines up. The posts are sort of all over the place. And let me just show you this. Let's grab this one and chuck that on there. Yep. 
what's it like sideways oh dear that's that's really good for oh that's leaning this one sideways a little off i could have been on one of these ridges here though was i no i was not sideways terrible again so as you can see i'm dealing with some terrible posts they're sort of all over the place as well and some of you will say well why not just repair the posts and start fresh and you know what guys nine times out of ten i would fully agree with you but it always comes down to cost the way we can sort of get a job done but make it as cheap as possible for the customer which we've done here then we'll do that for the customer we'll still get it to look good but sometimes people are on a little bit more of a budget than others and these are the jobs that you have to do which is absolutely fine you'll still get a class work from me and asne and d and j projects absolutely 100 percent. oh look at this guy as well even there yes stainage we've got a bottle of stain in the van that we're using for the cut so when you see us ever doing a cut please believe that it is always stained see the cut over there stained as well guys even cuts that go into the ground that you can't see please yeah, believe see they are stained there. yes see that one on the bottom of the gravel board you can just see the stain lip right there it's definitely been stained but yeah sent the measurements over to jamie now i'm gonna fly back right now because me and asney can't do anything we'll unload the panels that i brought because of course they're too big now and we'll come back with these measurements chuck these timbers on there i'll probably fly back and get the gate or i'll get charles to bring us the gate whilst we start sliding these panels in but yeah other than that guys we're done here for now so let's go to the yard and get back here i said we'd be back at the yard but whilst we're waiting for these panels see the pigeon wire now and it's just finishing it up there jordan's holding the ladder he promises me he won't shake it so <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't do that to you would he has left <laughs> yes, so just had a delivery. Just brought the put the sixes there, two fives and three and fours inside whilst Jamie makes the panels. That's what it's about, guys. Teamwork. Jamie normally does that. Well, I may as well whilst I'm waiting here. That's exactly why these two are doing this right now. <laughs> They're waiting for pretty much the panels. As soon as those panels are made, me and Asna will go out. Jordan will continue sorting this side of the yard out with Jamie yeah good progress so far guys it's going well but when we get back to the to the job we'll catch back up i'm all back guys <laughs> let's get that top one in there so i got that one in oh well, i guess we did get that one in that one in oh that one in i'm just finishing up that one right there now it's time for this bad boy gate right here need to chop them and get it in it's done but it's not done because I forgot the bloody lock, the horse lock. I call it a horse lock. It's on screen now, somewhere around about here. I call it a horse lock. Just spoke to the customer. I'm either going to come back after work today or first thing in the morning to get it finished. He said, I'm not in no rush. Don't worry about it. I'll never use it. He literally just said, I'll never use it. We always use this. It's just for show. So fair enough. And I guess that's another good reason for why this customer's not gone for a full fresh install because it's quite literally just a show at front of house. So yeah, I get it guys. But uh Back to the yard for me seems like everything's gone wrong or nothing's gone to plan on this job i guess sometimes you're gonna get it but yeah back to the yard catch up with them so here we are back in the yard and right now we're moving some of these blocks we've put a couple right there squared that off can put a little square there gonna put this three over there we've just put a four there gonna put the three next to it Try and block it off a bit. We've got gravel boards there, but we're going to try and make it a bit more substantial with these blocks. So then, this is what we've got. We've locked all of that in, so nothing can really move now. Idea is to have a four across there. All of this could be totally wrong. See what my dad says. But my idea is, one, block off the screener, so the screener gets less abused, less action against it. We need some down there, but it's a little bit difficult. You can't do it in that, you gotta do it in a grab and all of this is in the way, I think. And I'd, I'd have to take those two off up there. So I'm gonna leave that one for today. But the plan for me is, I think, leave this one like this, because then you've got a foot there. You could step up onto this one. You can step up onto this one, put a four there. So you would step up onto that, 
put another one on this. This one's a bit higher, so you've got nowhere to go. If that one is at this height, it's perfect here because then you can take the bits and bobs out from this side and that side. We just have to drill into these blocks to get some sort of like chains down here or we could put some timber, like a timber step rail so you can actually get up and down without having to worry about falling off. I think that'll be a good idea because then you can get it from that side but you can get it from this side and there's no stretching over to the other side because you've got steps here and you'll have sort of steps here. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Like I say, it could be wrong. My dad might think, nah, that's not gonna work. But if you don't try, you don't know, do you? So four to here, three on top of there, and then it's one, two, three, four. Get some timbers, lock it in place like a diagonal timber, as if like a like a steer rail of sorts. I think that'll be good. Yeah, I like it. I like it, guys. Ant's just getting the the mould open now because there's two squares in there. Need to get rid of that. Get that out of the limestone bay. That's just in the way there. I don't want big red scooping that up. I've got these singles. I don't know what they're for. I'm sure they're for over there. But I'm not sure. We might be putting them over there. Who knows? But, but yeah, got two squares there. So we could put a square there, square there. There's a three or a four there. So there's a four there, but we ain't got no fours made. So I could put a three there and then just have the one there. I'm not sure though. But anyway, let me help Asni with this. We can crack back on. I think we'll put those two squares, one there for sure. And then, and then, I'm not sure where we'll put the other one. When I know, I'll let you know. I just smashed it today. Getting a little dark now. Just need to get our block grab out of the way. I was getting some eight foot inters out of the way down here. But it looks like the lads are busy loading up a van plan was to get these out of the way so I can get one of these down make it easier for the lads Jamie's just said this can be moved now so that's a bonus and then the idea is to get probably one of them down as well because these are newer than those so obviously you want to rotate through the stock but there's a lot of stock there guys a lot of stock it's definitely dark now but that's looking good just been loading up vans as well Put some gravels on this one. Can't have any more on that bad boy. Grabs are in, looking good. Just been sorting out down here as well. What we mentioned is my sister's birthday, so hopefully there's at least 100 comments down there because we would very much appreciate it. Yeah, I think there's a cheesecake here, so we have a look. Good morning, it is Tuesday morning and I'm on deliveries. Steve is on fencing, I'm on deliveries. There's no grabs today. We've got the sign writer coming, my mate Simon Wright at GNS Signs, coming to put some measurements on Big Red, the new digger, and something else which is coming soon. But yeah, first job is let's get these deliveries out of the way. That's one delivery down. It's for our good friend Lucky. And he's got his trousers on, and he's happy. I think he's got trousers on, aren't you, mate? Well, it feels weird. Used to wearing shorts. Roll on summer. <laughs> yeah, roll on summer. I'm glad I'm wearing trousers. All we've got now is black ice to drop off and then back at the yard. So there we have 10 bags of black ice, which Chelsea has actually filled up with Jordan, I believe. So they're going to have to do a few more. And it's Chelsea's birthday today. So if you want to wish Chelsea a happy birthday in the comments, please do, because that'll make her day. Yeah, it's a birthday today, bless her. Me and her mum's bought some trainers, that's what she wanted. So she's got some trainers, some nice trainers. I'll show you when I get back to the yard. I said we'd catch up, I'll show Chelsea's trainers. Look at them. You can tell a lot about a person by their trainers. And I think she thinks she's proper bad man. I am bad man. <laughs> she's got the same trainers as me now. <laughs> Road man. Yeah, I like trainers really like. Like roadman trainers, we keep the big running joke in math on there, uh, roadman trainers. So yeah, what we've been doing, me and Jordan, we've been sorting all the racking out. Guys, it's hard work, you know, sorting it out. So that's what we've been doing. We've been sorting that corner out over there. We've got all this wood here to sort out and cut, and we've still got that one and a few behind me to sort out as well. But I'm just going to bring the grabs in there. Oh, 
Good morning, guys. I hope you're all doing well. We're on a double delivery today. You've got Dad and you've got Jordan in there. You've got me in here and you will have Asni in here as well. He is just getting a tape measure and a gut stub bar because once we've done this delivery, Dad and Jordan are gonna go do another one that's already on the trailer. Me and Aunt are actually going to another fencing job today. It's sort of another panel replacement. So we've got to take all the panels out and take the measurements. You can just take panels, but sometimes it's a little bit dodgy with the sizes. So as we're not going to be too far away, we're going to take the tape, go to the job, take the measurement, which I'd already explained to the customer at the time as well. If we get the job, I'll come back and take a proper good measurement for you. Yeah, so I'm waiting for Asni now. Here he is in the back. So once we get to this delivery, we'll show you what it's about because it's a big one. Good morning. It is a wet, horrible, miserable Wednesday morning and we're delivering. Stevie should be behind us. We've got the trailer on for another delivery street after this and then we're on grab work. Yes, we are. We're going to get wet today. So let's get these off. All gone. They are down there. This job's full of bells. We're just taking the trailer off, going to spin it round because it's really, really tight down here. And I don't want to be bashing in the cars like a pinball machine up there. So let's get it done. Trailer's back on, heading back out of here. Next one's for BP Paving. Nice little delivery for BP Paving. Now nah, we've got to get out of here. They have actually done a grab at this one as well for them. I don't know where the boys are, it's raining, so I bet they're at the calf. Can't fault them. But yeah, we're going to leave trailer on. I'm going to reverse that. Uh, I wish them cars weren't there and I could reverse into that hammerhead. But a hammerhead is like a turning point in a road. I wish a double yellow line on because it just makes it so difficult. You're not meant to park in hammerheads, I don't think, on corner sacks and, uh, and roads because they're turning areas. But yeah, next time you see me and Jordan, we're back at the R. We're back on the grab and I can see. Oh, you can't see it. It's quite sunny over here. So yeah, it's going to be sun shining. We're just at the minute putting some Warwickshire of gold on. We've got three white gold. The bags have been put down here now. It's a little bit neater. We've got a little tiny bit more space here because this is a turning circle. So that's working. Stevie's doing a slide in. The lads are getting ready to start the mixer. But yeah, it's going well. It's me and Jordan on the grab. So we'll get these on and then we'll head over to the first one. There's the first drop. It's not ideal. I'm just going to get it down there. I don't want to pull on here. But yeah, let's get it. Just click your fingers, mate. There we have it. One more to go. We're going to get a customer ring now so I can shut these gates. On to the next. So that's another one. We wasn't meant to do some big red, but we're going to go them all on my wire to get them on and be more efficient and catch up. So yeah, we've got two Warwickshire gold there. We've got rid of the red stone down there. That's our Blakers. Give us away, Blakers. <laughs> and we've got the spoiler on the back. On to the next. So here's our next one. It's just behind the van and there's some Warwickshire gold to drop off as well. So yeah, happy days. Let's get them off and let's get it on. That one went well, didn't it? Nearly grabbed it in one hit. But yeah, the work should go just down there. Now we've got six bags to pick up and some old sleepers. Here's our next one for Tom Lampro. We're gonna have to grab these ones because we've got them dreaded wires up there. So let's get them gone. There's another one that ticked off the list. Let's head back to the yard, get rid of that brash, empty these bags and go and grab the other one. So we've emptied the bags just there. What we decided to do, leave the bit from Manders on the back and go and grab this soil grab and then come back and sort it out. The reason I'm doing that, it's now two o'clock and if that grab takes me an hour, it's going to be three o'clock and then it's going to start getting dark. So I'll get that on and then we'll sort it back at the yard. Back at the yard, I managed to screen some of that off because it was nice. Well, it's me and Hugo back at the yard. I'm taking Hugo in tonight. So it's me and little man, isn't it? <sighs> So that's another day at D and J. We'll see you in the morning. So here we are, guys. Next job, absolutely chucking it down once again for us at D and J Projects. We're replacing that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one down there. 
there is a post all the way down there it's just a little bit tight some of these will have to be custom i believe because i think some of the posts got a little move and a wobble on them we're going to get all of these out right now so there we go guys paired in asna so we've got pretty standard size panels sort of until you get down here we've done to the tops of the posts as well where we can so we've had to go to the top of that because that post is shorter than that and then to that one again because you don't want this panel taller than this post same again here same again here for some strange reason that one goes back up it's not what we we like to do guys but it is what it is again this is a panel replacement not a fresh install this post if you have a look can you see that it's like lean back so we've had to take a longer measurement for that shorter measurement for that which means a shorter measurement for that longer measurement for that so Jamie is going to work his magic on these me and asne about to head back to the yard it might be done by the time we get back It'll probably take us off now to get back from here drive past the costa or a petrol station with a costa there we're definitely going to be having one because it's another wet cold day so i guess we'll catch up a little later so the sun has made an appearance me and asne are back we've put some panels in Yes, they're not touching the bases yet. Reason that we're not making them touch the base yet is we're gonna slide the next one in and then mess around and get them lower. The reason we haven't sort of pushed them down and squeezed them in right now is because if we do push them in, there's always a chance of a little movement with posts and we don't want these posts to move anywhere until we get our panels in. So we'll get this one in there with Ant's magic fingers. And there's that one that's sitting pretty to the shoulder. So the, the last two, they fell in lovely. They just need a bit of persuasion. But now it's getting onto the awkward ones. Obviously, we're going to do that one behind the shed now. Nah. And we'll do that one with these clicky fingers. There's that one. Someone's obviously working next door with a stealer. Now nah, it's this one. So that one just needs a tap down. I think it's just the top cap catching. So we need to tap that one and tap these two. Let's get the ammo and show you how it works. So here he is. It's just going to tap this bit down here. It's going to tap the top and we'll watch the bottom. Perfecto. Perfect on the top as well. That's so just going to give them all a little tap. They all look okay around here. Putting the shoulders look. Just a little tap on this one. Nothing really happening. A little tap on this one. You see it's starting to go down, lovely at that side, just need to get it down for this one here. It's going, it's going, it's going. One more tap on that, mate. Lovely. Lovely. Perfect. And then as that is it that perfecto. So now, touching, 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 and touching. I've done these all custom as well. So they go to the shoulders of the shortest post. That's how you want to do your fencing, guys. You don't want skyscrapers a little bit like next doors right there. This did have skyscrapers before. Now it's a little custom panel. We've got to figure out how to get that in. I think we're doing an angle though. There we have it. Nice panel wedged in there, lovely. Another not too shabby panel replacement. So we're back in the yard, guys. Let's have a look at the concrete guys mixing some posts here this time. I think it was gravel boards last time. I can't remember, but it's posts this time. Inside the post and doesn't just sit on top of those steels. 
but as always, these two smashing it. The lads obviously are smashing it in there on the concrete. Now, me and Asni are getting these gravel boards out and it's giving them a blow to get all of the leaves off them because the only thing this time of year, also when the leaves fall, they can stain the posts. So we're constantly having to blow the posts and the gravel boards. Really need these trees down. So I think that's going to get someone in to give us a price to get those trees down or at least the closest ones to the posts. Yes, because there's trees everywhere, you're always going to get leaves. But the blow water has got to do for now. Let me just show you. I can show you an example here, look. Look at those two posts here. They're just stained from the leaves. Can you see the leaves on the top? And it's really, really hard to come out. I dare say with a hot steam jet wash, it would come off. That's why we're blowing them all off here, look. So you don't get that stainage. But those two customers aren't going to want those, are they, guys? So obviously, we'll have to figure out what we can do with them. But it is a shame at this time of year these trees are letting us down but uh, I guess it's something we've got to deal with as a company ourselves but it is what it is right but we're getting these gravel boards out here because these are the oldest gravel boards so we need to get all of those out put them over there and then these ones here they're the newest so we need to get the new ones down there and then we can put the old ones at the front again so we're actually rotating and using the older stock first that's obviously the whole point of it otherwise they're just wasting the time in there and they may as well just make on on demand but obviously because we're stocking up as well it's good to get the new ones right at the back and then get the older ones at the front that was a lot of gibberish but i guess you get what i mean this should do the trick yeah buddy so we've got some covered now just got some bricks holding them down hopefully we don't get no big big gusts of wind here's hoping these ones that you can see here because you can already see them you can just get the blower and blow them off much easier than having to mess around with them up there and then obviously these ones again you can just blow these off because you can see them but this is what i mean guys it's like the perfect imprint look here we go look you ready and it doesn't really come off so customers of course don't want those do they guys some may but nine times out of ten they don't they want them looking like this so yeah i guess it is what it is so hello and good morning guys i don't know what happened at the end of yesterday the video just sort of ended a little bit like last sunday's video but today we're on a fencing install can you see it it's all battered it's not looking pretty there's a few shrubs here that are going to be in the way so what we've done we've brought the edge cut off we'll be cutting back where we need to cut back obviously cutting back this ivy right here that's a definite that definitely needs cutting we've got the wheelbarrow so we'll just keep wheeling barrowing wheeling barrowing <laughs> wheelbarrowing the stuff through back to the front we're actually going up to here today look we're going up to somewhere around here we're going to get the tape measure and measure to this post so that if ever this garage gets taken down by next door we can get another fence to our post which i believe we'll be able to because like you always know guys we can make whatever size we need as long as the gravel board doesn't go over seven foot this one's going to be six foot tall for privacy so yeah i guess the next thing we need to do is get it all out and you're not really going to be able to see much so we're going to get this out with these magic fingers oh, not working today guys when it gets cold they need warming up a little bit just like this look even took my glove off So just raking away some piles because we've used the hedge cutter to give ourselves some access. Separated everything. It's like the Red Sea, it's been separated. Be a little bit tight here because this pile camphor is quite big. And then obviously, what's this? Don't know what that is. Budley or some sort in the way. But Maybe that bit's okay, just there. You can see where the old one used to be, so it was very close. The concrete here, but that feels like it's about one inch thick, so that's not gonna be a problem. Again, you can see where they used to be, look. Got quite a bit of movement in there, so we should be able to get those out quite easy. Again, another one here. Oh, bit solid, but we've got Groot, the bar, the team member. So I'm gonna get tape, gonna measure off from here to that existing post see what the gap is and we'll know start up there run and finish it somewhere here if it has to go past i would say this bit is in the way but 
we'll see what we've got to do and let you know. So we decided to set a string line up at the side of garage. And then we've done a bay as always, guys. We always like to get the first bay in. It's going to be little increments of step downs, this one. Because it's a little taller up this side. Dug the next hole. Nice and ready. Leveled off the bed. Going to get a gravel board. And then continue with this fence install. It's a little bit trickier to film on this one. Because, well, look at it. Customers made us a cup of tea. So we're going to have this tea. I'm going to get a gravel and continue. And we go again in the wilderness. Been a struggle, this one. Been a real struggle, a lot of concrete. But we just keep plodding on. Yes, loads of shrubs as you can see. We'll catch up a little later, guys. Yes, it's pitch black. But we've done. All we've got to do tomorrow is come with some tum bags and put a couple of piles. I'll show you, it's easier. So I've got a flash on, guys. Obviously. That's where it finishes. Reason it finishes there, one, it used to, but second there, I think I might have mentioned if the garage, if the garage gets taken down, we could put a fence in, in there. But then, walk through here. It's a little bit boggy this ground as well. So you see this pile and the pile up there, we're gonna get them with a tum bag tomorrow. This is the fencing, guys. Customer is over the moon with it. I know you can't really see it, but it's been a hard, tough one. Well, I do believe it's been worth it. And that's how cold it is today. I guess that's another day for D&J. Let's go and see what my dad and Jordan have been to up. Let's, so, let's go and see what my dad and Jordan have been to up day. Let's go and see what my dad and Jordan have been to. Several days later. Let's go and see what my dad and Jordan have been up to today. Because me and Asna, we're done for the day. It's half past five. No, it's not. It's half past four. Thank God it's not half past five. But it's half past four. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. And me and Jordan are out delivering that bag. Stevie's already been here. He dropped some 12 foot posts off and some other stuff. He said we hit around the corner until we'd done it, but nah. That's not me and Jordan's style. We don't hide around corners, do we? We're not shy about work. Our boys at DJ Project are not shy about work. So what we're doing now, we've got two tonne of recycled roads there on the back to drop off at BP Paving. So what we'll do, we'll head over there and we'll catch up. Boys at BP, we dropped this roadstone there, grab more to the post. Now we are off to, where are off to Jordan? Florence. Florence. Just going to move some bags we dropped yesterday. Just going to move them over slightly because the lady's got a mobility scooter and she just can't get it out of the car where we put them. So on to the next. So yesterday we put them there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna move them, just put them underneath the window so they can use the drive and a bit more accessible. So we put them on here yesterday, so we just assume they go there. But they're not being moved for a couple of weeks, that's the reason why as well. So let's move from there and get them there. There we are, moved from there to there. Now let's go and do a grab. That one's all grabbed on the back. We're gonna take it to the tip down here when we get there. Sure, we'll show you. So we're tipping off there. It's like a river down here. Had some rain, it hasn't stopped raining for days. So yeah, it is really, really boggy down here. So let's get this tipped. Jordan's just sweeping last little bits off so it's nice and tidy. But yeah, all tipped off. Jordan said all tipped off into the swamp. Yeah. It's uh I've just lost my foot. Look at that. So yeah, it's a bit of a river down here. On the bus side, clean the wheels. So yeah, the plan here is now we're gonna swap over to Mighty Y. We've got seven ton of sharp sand to deliver and a ton of road stone. And then we've got a gravel way to do on Mighty Y. So yeah, next time you see us, we'll be in Mighty Y. So we all load up seven ton of sharp sand and one ton of roadstone. Got a little problem with little red. All them little bits in there. It's like a carriage that's come apart inside there, but I'm a mechanic's coming out to sort it. Yeah, it's usable. It's just 
must have caught and come apart. But yeah, it's only a little track that feeds hydraulic pipes inside the extension of the boom. So yeah, a small little problem. Really, really happy with the machine. Really, really happy. Just like, stuff comes loose, don't it? But that's like everything. But we've had it. How long we've had it, huh? Yeah, it must be a year and a half now. Year and a half. Couple of little problems on it. Not bad. You'd get that with any machine. That's it now, me and Jordan are going out to do this and then we've got a grab to do as well. So next time you see us, we'll be dropping either the roadstone off or the sharp sand. So there we have a seven ton of sharp sand and a ton of roadstone. Where's the uh, brush and shovel, mate? Look where he's left him, he's buried him. We'll have to dig them out. <laughs> I'll grab it. Better not break my brush. Not broke, I can feel it on the end. <laughs> we'll have to leave it as it. <laughs> it's like, you can't even shovel it out because the shovel's down there as well. The, it. <laughs> the shovel belongs here, in this groove here. And the brush normally lays down along the back. I don't know why he's left them there. Does it explain, mate? I've got an explanation. <laughs> So when we get these out, we'll show you, we haven't damaged them. And we'll show you, obviously, that, that's down there. Okay, there's no wrong with them, but they're cleaner than what they were. So what's the more to this story? Put them back where they belong. <laughs> yeah, we're still grabbing. We've got a little bit more to do. What Jordan does now, he'll, he'll brush that bit up. What I can't get, like I say, we've just been dropped down there. So there we have a nice seven ton down there. What are you doing with that brush, Jordan? <laughs> See, the brush normally goes down there like that, and that's where the shovel goes now. The shovel don't go in there no more, it goes there. On to the next. There's our ton of stone. Off to sunny Subble or Southwell. What do you reckon, Blaze? It's Southwell or Subble? Subble? You're posh. Southwell posh. Next time it says we'll be in Southwell. So sorry to interrupt this video, but let me know what you think to this next clip because the boys over at B&P Paving think they've got the minerals to take on me and my dad. They must be having a laugh. Dave and Stevie were calling you out before Christmas to do a chicken wing challenge. We're gonna get the hot sauce. We'll measure the amount of hot sauce each, make it fair, like four mil of hot sauce. Apply it in equal measures to a KFC chicken wing, and we've all got to eat it on camera and see who can hack it. What can you do? I'll do it all day long. And if no chicken wing, ah. Ghostbuster. <laughs> this is our next one. Oh, it's not the best. I have to grab over the cab. And we've had to pull off the road a little bit. Just can't reach it. So, Bray, if you're watching, a little bit too far up the drive, this is me. Slowly grabbing it. This is my vision. So I've got to go over the cab and grab there. So all I can see at the minute is that. That's a good job brought Jordan with me. So we've got a little tiny bit more to clean up and then we're out of here. There we have it. That was quite difficult. Really, really difficult. But it's all nicely done now. Now we've just got to get out of here. Yeah, we're nice and tight to that side. Really tight to that side. Yeah, we'll get out of here, head back to the yard, top this load up. Well, good morning. It is Friday morning. Everybody loves a Friday, don't they, George? Yeah, good. Fat Friday? Fat Friday, yeah. No, we're still dieting. Stone, there. Grab, just up there where Rob Decking is. We're calling Rob Decking because he buys lots of decking from us. But yeah, let's get this stone down there. There we have it, all down there, all nicely on there. Rob says probably going to be another one by the time it's scraped up and got rid of the rest of it. So that one's on the back now, let's go and get tipped up. So back at the tip. Let's get it tipped off. So here we are on the tip. Here we go, tipping off. There she is, all tipped off. Back down again. 
and we're on our way. So back at the yard, I've got a few quotes to do. I think they're all driveway quotes. Uh, going to like see some decking as well. I'm not really happy with the, the, the supplier of decking. Yeah, I've done four or five in composite decking and they're cracked. Plastic decking's cracked. So yeah, let's go and see that one as well. So that's a nice one to, to have a look at. Not my fault, but more the supply of the product. I don't know if anyone else has had this problem with this kind of decking. But yeah, I'm gonna sort that out, see what we can do with that, and uh, hopefully resolve that problem. And then the others are driveways, so yeah. Let's so I'm here at my first one. I put the decking in behind there, and what they've done, they've been kind enough to send everything out. So at the minute, I'm happy with the response I've got from this company. But let me just show you what they've sent. So they've sent six or seven boards. Now they put these underneath the spindles. I'll show you in a minute what's happened, and they've sent a lot of fixing. So I'm really happy with what they've done. I'm going to do exactly what they've told me to do. And if it fails again, the ball's in their court. But at the minute, They've been really, really good, and they've sent this out. So yeah, I don't know if you can see this. They've, they've, they've cracked here. So what they're telling me now, you have to put support under here. So they're sending support. This one's a really bad one here. Really bad. And they've cracked along there. I've had this board up, but I didn't actually put the framing down underneath so what i'm going to do i'm going to just jack it up a little bit to take this little bow out and that's all i can do that's what the company's asked me to do and obviously put underneath there them supports so it doesn't do that but if it does it again then obviously the ball's back in their court and it's the product and not the way it's been fitted but it's done it to four of the jobs i've done exactly the same so i've got to go around doing four which I, I believe it might be the product, but all I can do is repair this and then take it from there. So yeah, that's 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 that one. I'm gonna do it over a weekend. It's it's down the road from my house as well. So yeah, all I can do, they've left me a big long, how they want it fitting, which they didn't give me the first time. So it makes me wonder whether they had problems before. Now all of a sudden you've got to put a block underneath. I mean, they put the metal in to stop it from doing it. Now they're putting the block and the metal. They've obviously had problems before. But all I can do, I can rectify what I can do. And if it does happen again, like I say, the ball's in their court. And then it might be down to product. But they've got to go around and see the rest of the ones I've done as well. Well, I have done the base and it is perfectly level and it's still done it. So yeah. But yeah, we're on to the next quote now. The next one is a driveway, I believe, or it's resurfacing. So yeah, let's head over there. I'm a bad YouTuber. I forgot to film it. I actually asked the customer and all if I could film it. He said, yeah. Right, one of them is 130, well, 140 square meter driveway. He's got an existing driveway there. He wants some regulating. He's had some services put through. So that one's a bit of basin top. That's a good one. Hopefully we'll get that. He has used us before, so he knows what we're all about. He watches YouTube channel. And the other one was one of my existing customers from a long, long time ago. They've moved house now. They want to drive where you're doing. I think they're going to go for the resin because they've already got a good sub base. Just wants cleaning off, keying out around the sides, and then we can resin over that. So hopefully we get that one. Just been to that one. Now we are going to, over to Arnold to do another quote. I believe this is a service area. So we're going to do some patchwork there, fill these holes in, which have uh, I think the frost has got to the tarmac and it's lifted it. So I will be able to show you that one. And then we are over to another subscriber and we'll see if we can film that. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a bite to eat and then we'll head over to Arnold. So this is one I was talking about. It's this area here, it's a service road. So they all share this. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna just gonna quote from there to there. Left over tarmac, we'll flash this over if we get this one. But yeah, it's a service road. They all own a little bit of it. A lot of them are rented now, so they don't really want to pay. But yeah, that's the job on this one. Nice, easy one. And there we go. That's that's the iPad. That's what measurements we put on it. You can put another picture on there. It's just a little tiny bit once flashing over the side of the caravan. So yeah, hopefully we get this one. It'll be a nice one to do. So hello guys. Here we are on Friday morning. It is a cold, brisk one today. 
Just been loading up the van, ready for another job today. Today is going to be a tong and groove gate with a lovely key lock. There's going to be a tong and groove panel right next to it. I think I'll try and film this one as a sort of word, like a do-it-yourself, hard to do it sort of style. I believe, if my memory serves me correctly, we can put a 4B2 or a 3B3 on the wall. Then I'll have to dig a hole for one of the 3B3s. And then because it's next to the neighbor, I believe I'm gonna have to dig another one onto the floor. Dig another one and pull it into the floor rather than attach to the neighbor's hat. We're all loaded. I'm ready to go. I believe you just saw my dad and Jordan's clips today. So hopefully you've enjoyed them. If you have, please smash that like button. We very much do appreciate it. And definitely consider subscribing if you are brand new around here. I believe we're so close to 62,000 subscribers. So thank you very much for everyone supporting the channel. And there's Charles. Make sure you said happy birthday in the comments. Remember what I said, over 100 comments, if you could, please. But yeah, let's get it. But before we get to that gate, told you we'd be back. This is the gate latch from earlier in the week. So now it's to, where should we go now? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We'll go and clear up the rubbish so we can get that job ticked off the list. Back at this one as well. Why are we back, you may ask? I said I had to come back to put some blocks in. So we've cut the blocks, got some sand in there, spread it around, and now they're lovely intact. Lovely on that side as well. If anyone's wondering, this is what it looked like. They've been painted a lovely, what would you call that guys? Teal, something along those lines. Very nice. And for anyone wondering, my dad did this fencing a long time ago. I don't believe he did the back. I'm not sure on that though. And then me and Taff did this one. Yes, nice and tall. Reason we did it tall is because the neighbor has had a composite decking about that far off the ground. So if this was at six foot, probably even, yeah, probably at six foot, they'd be able to see over. So it looks menacing from here. But remember we are lower than that. So that's seven foot. Then you've got probably two more gravel boards there. So it looks tall, but it starts higher and next door's decking is like somewhere here. Cause I don't know if you remember, there was a composite bit of decking there and whoever installed that has done a bit of a bodge job really and just screwed it into the concrete post. So obviously when we've took that out, obviously the decking's all loose now. So we made the decking right. We attached the post onto that art house right there which we very much did appreciate. So that's why we found it a bit weird when we couldn't put the timber one on the wall, but it is what it is and the job still looks good. So before we go to the next job, have a look at this. Who remembers that beauty? Do you remember? Let us know in the comments down below. That was actually Ant's first ever job for d &J Projects. First day. First day. And then a couple of days later, he smashed my phone, but that's, <laughs> that's another story for a different day. Let's get to today's uh, job. So then we are on the job site and this is it today. Tongue groove panel and gate. So we're going to be changing this. As you can see, the gate has got a right lean on it. I think we're going with hooking bands on this one. Might even be able to reuse this spur post. We're going to see what it's like. Obviously, when we take all of the structure off, these looks like they're in with Phillips. We're going to be putting a 4B2 on this bad boy here. The gate's going to be around about the same height, so we'll have a brace beam across the top as well. I'm not sure how it's connected to next door. It's a strange one. It actually looks like it might be in the house. Very strange. Don't like the look of it already, but we can definitely take this off. So have a look at this then guys. I'm gonna say they rendered this property after this gate was on because you can see the old brickwork and see the render. And then you can see this concoction down here. <laughs> what do you do with that? What do what do you do with that? Good deal. Hmm. That sounds changed. <laughs> <laughs> I better get my thinking cap on and catch back up after. So this is what we've gone with. Gone with 
free be free on the wall and then we've gone with this down here and then we put a 4 by 2 on top we're quite happy with that solid as well very nice now we need to get a 3 by 3 on there and that lines up with a 4 by 2 quite lovely and then that runs across to the existing where it used to be and then we need to go somewhere up here i think we're gonna have a brace beam across because that's higher at the minute which is fine because we can put a brace beam from inside across so yeah we'll do the sort of setup with the magic fingers and then we'll show you what it's looking like you can do it hasn't it so that is all timbers sitting pretty gate was hanging off that one before we're going to hang off this one because this one is much stronger than that one well that one's strong but it's much better to hang off the bricks so our gate will go <whistles> lovely also we just got to make sure it's lower than the gutter if that is not a problem because we can have a brace beam across from there to there to there to there and we'll do that now oh we did do ants magic fingers no deal we'll do mine for the brace beam Brace beams across the top. Jamie's got the measurement for the panel and the gate. Me and Aznet back to the yard now. Wait for him to make it, I guess. And then back here. So when we're back here, we'll catch back up. And we're back. So we've got the framing, we've got the gate, we've got the panel, we've got the clappers, we've got the toolbox, we've got the gear up there in the packs. Let's get it on. Like Donkey Kong. Can I trust and you chose to break it? And there we have it. Lovely gate and tone groove panel. The fancy key lock. Lovely. So that is probably it for me and Aznet today on the installs. So if anything exciting happens, we'll see you back at the yard. See you there, guys. So it's another week complete at d &J Projects. Before we go anywhere, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone's supporters on the Wednesday video, supporting us with the Sunny Digger. It's a massive achievement for d &J Projects and me and Steve. -er. Just a big, big thank you for all the comments and the continued support from our subscribers near and far yes near and far because we have got subscribers down below thank you very much guys <laughs> but yeah that completes this week's episode i hope you enjoyed it don't forget drop us a like and if you're brand new around here consider subscribing and ring that little bell because you'll be notified to all our videos before anyone else we'll see you in the next one guys